Hello, my name's Jonathan McBurney and I'm the Creative Director of Perth Tucker Regional Gallery. It is my pleasure today to introduce to you Councillor Liam Mooney, who is going to announce the winners of this year's Ceramic Awards, North Queensland's oldest art prize. I'd like to start by acknowledging the traditional owners of this land, the Wulgarukabar of Garan Bilbara and Yimbanan and Bindil people. We pay our respects to their cultures, their ancestors and their elders past and present and all future generations. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you to tune in to celebrate the North Queensland Ceramic Arts Awards for 2020. Like many events this year, the presentation today may look a little different than usual, but I thank you all for joining us. Council is very proud to partner with the North Queensland Potters Association to present this esteemed exhibition. Established in 1973, the aim of the exhibition has been to increase public knowledge of the highest standard of pottery in North Queensland and Australia. The 2020 Biennial North Queensland Ceramic Awards has not only achieved this aim, but has also become very important to the City of Townsville Art Collection, with works acquired from these exhibitions forming a major focus of its impressive ceramic collection. Today, we not only celebrate the Ceramic Awards, but the strength and diversity of potters in the Townsville arts community. Led by the North Queensland Potters Association, the Townsville region and its talented ceramic artisans have gained quite the name for themselves in years gone by, and I have no doubt this will continue for years to come. And while we have all fallen on uncertain times, as artists, you take your emotions, inspirations and experiences of daily life and mould them into something spectacular. I'm sure there has been some wonderful pieces created around these extraordinary times, some of which may even feature in this exhibition. This year's Ceramic Awards features 88 artworks, more than half of these from Queensland, including 15 from local Townsville artists, as well as two international pieces. These awards are a credit to the hard work of not only the artists, but also the North Queensland Potters Association and Townsville City Council's gallery staff who have worked tirelessly to deliver it. I'd like to take the time to thank our extremely generous sponsors, Pack and Send, La Loma Jewelers, Emu Sportswear, and the Rainford family. Your ongoing support is very well appreciated. I'd also like to extend my thanks to our esteemed judge and renowned ceramic artist, Sandra Black, for her time and expertise in selecting the winners of this rich selection of artworks. So, on that very note, without any further ado, let's get down to the business of our prize recipients. The winner of the Rainford Family Award has been awarded to Cecily Willis for Striped Pyjamas. Congratulations, Cecily. This year's Emu Sportswear Award recipient is Warren Ogden for Monolith. Congratulations, Warren. The Laloma Jewelers Award in memory of Betty Jackson has been awarded to Annette Bukovinsky for Fall. Congratulations, Annette. The Pack and Send Award winner is Molly Bosworth for It's Not Dark Yet. Congratulations, Molly. And last, but certainly not least, drum roll please. The winner of the City of Townsville Art Collection Award and taking home $10,000 is Mahala Hill for Armoured Miss Frog. Congratulations, Mahala. Very, very well done. So I encourage you all to keep an eye out for the virtual exhibition or to come and see these amazing works of art for yourself here at Perth Tucker Gallery. Once again, congratulations to our winners and all of the artists for creating such an interesting, technically challenging and innovative pieces. Thank you and enjoy. <laughs>